Hacking inside. That door probably weighs as much as a 757 aircraft door. And the inside of that cab is as sealed as a jet plane. Forget horse-drawn carriages and convertibles. Shifting security into overdrive for the new first car. You're watching the most news in the morning. Well, they used to be driven in horse-drawn carriages much later in bulletproof sedans, but Barack Obama's new wheels may be the most secure, heavily fortified vehicle in the world. Gene Meserve is live in Clearwater, Florida to show us. Hi, Gene. Hi, Karen. Now, this is a 1984 Cadillac limousine used by President Reagan. A new limousine is going to be unveiled on January 20th, and we got an early peek. Secret Service agents call the presidential limousine the beast. And if spy photos are any indication, President Obama's new ride lives up to the name. It's a rolling tank with windows. At the turn of the last century, when President McKinley was inaugurated, he relied on an entirely different kind of horsepower. President Harding's inaugural parade in 1920 was the first to use a car. Roosevelt. President Franklin Roosevelt used the first bulletproof ride, one seized from mobster Al Capone. President Johnson's limo was armored and enclosed, a byproduct of the Kennedy assassination. Ken Lucci owns a limousine used by Presidents Ford and Carter, and another that carried President Reagan. This is a 1975. Though its doors and undercarriage are armored, it seems quaint next to the high-tech limousine President Obama will use. I like this. No campaign, no election, instant president. Great. It's interesting. Lucci notes the new limo's windows are smaller to make it less vulnerable. Some of the body appears to be built of a different material. He speculates it's a tougher composite. Lucci says rubber gaskets could protect against chemical weapons, and he guesses the holes in the door are for a mechanism to lock it like a bank vault. That door probably weighs as much as a 757's aircraft door, and the inside of that cab is as sealed as a jet plane. And that may surprise Obama, says Joe Funk, a former Secret Service agent who drove President Clinton's limo. It's a cocoon, and uh, the everyday noises uh, will be will be gone and he will be totally isolated in this protective envelope. Now Ken Lucci took the bulletproof glass out of this limousine. Here's a piece of it if you've ever seen this. It's about one and a half to two inches thick layer upon layer of safety glass put together and it is very heavy. Lucci says taking the bulletproof glass out of this vehicle reduced its weight by about 6,000 pounds. Here and back to you. Mm, that's unbelievable. What will they think of next? Gene Mazur for us. Thanks so much. Well, if you want more on the President elect's Fortress on Wheels and for more information and photos of the Super Limo they're calling The Beast, you can go to CNN.com. It's 50 minutes after the hour.